Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you, and if you viewed other videos on my channel, you know that, among many other things, I love two things, caves and maps and geographic information systems. One of my super smart colleagues here at ESRI created this wonderful 3D landscape in ArcGIS Online and using our 3D tools. Now, this is an area in Kentucky, and you can zoom in on this URL and see the satellite imagery as you would expect to see in a 2D map. This cave, Hidden River Cave, I've actually visited it, and it's also a story of a magnificent restoration effort by the community. Like many caves and sinkholes back in the 19th century and earlier, caves and sinkholes were used as a convenient place to dump the town rubbish, trash, so all kinds of refuse was put in there. And uh, about a generation or two ago, it was restored, and it's still being restored. It is a wonder of the physical landscape, but also humans gathering together to save a treasure. And so in this 2D view right now, you can see the actual entrance of the cave, but you can also, thanks to my colleagues' work, you can see the extensive network. And indeed, this is part of the karst area in Kentucky, an area filled with underground rivers and streams, caves, karst, limestone, and so on. So you can take a tour in here by examining this. And you've got some tools here at the, at the left side of this particular image. This is in 3D scene. And there are a couple reasons why I wanted to show you this. One, so you could explore the, the wonders of this caving system, but also so that you can realize that, hey, you've got these 3D scenes and these maps and images and data that you can analyze with your students. Look at this. Wow, this is awesome. And my colleagues got all kinds of the survey, that the cave survey that that he and others conducted here. I've been on a couple of cave surveys, but my colleague goes far and above and below, get it? And below where I've gone and explored. But this is fascinating to look at the extensive network of tunnels. And keep in mind that this, like many other caves, we're just beginning to understand cave systems. And there are passageways, no doubt, that are not even on here that have yet to be explored. But it's just fascinating to be able to do this in this immersive environment. So this is the 3D scene capability in ArcGIS Online. You can look at all kinds of things in 3D, not just underground passageways and caves, but you can look at population, you can look at cities and growth of cities, and demographics, median age, median inco income. You can look at uh, human health variables, many other things in 3D. Now, why do that in the classroom? Not just so that uh, you can explore new tools, although that's certainly interesting, but the idea is you're understanding things in a deeper, richer way. Deeper, get it? In case of caves, deeper way. But it's just absolutely wonderful to be able to do this with the existing resources like this one that are built, but also, again, to map your own data and to analyze it. So check it out. This is the Hidden River 3D Cave application from my colleague here at S3, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.